If you're aiming for a grade six or above, these are absolutely marks that you have to be getting in your exam. Let's have a look at the question. It says work out the value of eight to the power of five over three, subtract nine to the power of three over two. Guys, how do we do this one? Well, we're going to need to know how to deal with fractional powers. We're gonna to have to calculate eight to the power of five over three and subtract nine to the power of three over two. So how do we do it? Whenever we have a fractional power, guys, the key is going to be to do the root of whatever number is on the bottom of the fraction and then raise to the power of whatever number is on the top of the fraction. So in this case, eight to the power of five over three. So eight to the power of five over three, we can write as the cube root of eight because there's a three on the bottom of the fraction and that is gonna be raised to the power of three because there's a five on the top of the fraction. Now, what about the nine? We're gonna subtract nine to the power of three over two. This time there's a two on the bottom of the fraction. So we're going to do the square root of nine. And because there's a three on the top of the fraction, we're gonna raise this to the power of three. Calculating these then, what are we gonna have? Well, the cube root of eight is two. So we have two to the power of five minus the square root of nine, that's gonna be three to the power of three. What are we gonna do now? Two to the power of five, two times two times two times two times two, that is going to be 32. And then we're gonna subtract our three cubed, that is going to be 27. 32, take 27, the nicest part of the question for sure, that is going to be five. Guys, if you got that one, well done. If you didn't, watch the video again, make sure that you understand how to do that. Like I say, if you're going for a grade six or above, you wanna be picking up those marks.